G'day everybody, Sean from Bourbon Brothers here. I hope you're well. Looking at our third bottle in our August tasting box. We're looking at the Chattanooga Whiskey 1816 Reserve. So Chattanooga Whiskey was founded in 2011 with a mission to bring whiskey back to the people of Chattanooga. Following the success of their community powered Vote Whiskey campaign, they eventually became the first distillery in Chattanooga in over a century. In 2015, they began the process of crafting their malt forward style of straight bourbon whiskey they call a Tennessee High Malt. And finally, after eight years in the making, they're now actually releasing their own distilled Tennessee High Malt now. But the product we're looking at today is actually out of MGP that they then finish. So the 1816 on the bottle, it celebrates the establishment of the first trading post along the Tennessee River, which became Chattanooga. The whiskies are produced from a mash bill of 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. So the bottle comes in at 45% ABV or 90 proof. On that nose, you're going to get a smoky charred profile with a bit of caramel and molasses coming through. There's a bit of a grainy component too with that rye spice sort of in the background. On the palate, that mouthfeel is creamy with nuttery and buttery flavors and a backbone of spice and a typical bourbon vanillas. The finish is reasonably short and it's sharp with more of that rye spice and a little bit of cinnamon coming through. So that's the 1816. Apologize for the brevity of these tasting notes as I mentioned uh, in the Dickel one, we've got a bit of a illness running through the Bourbon Brothers camp. So these ones are a bit shorter and sharper, um, but we'll be back to regular programming for our September tasting video. So stay well, take care of each other and enjoy your journey. Cheers. So Chattanooga Whiskey was founded in, but what we're looking at today is actually an MGP product that they then barrel. But what we're looking at today is product. On the palate, that mouthfeel is creamy, nuttery, and buttery. On the palate, that mouthfeel. Uh,